Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be working on the other half of the bed moulding. So same deal as last time, so we're going to, we've just marked this up here, uh, ready to cut off the excess here, so these are quite sharp. And we've also marked up across here, so we're going to get this cut off as well. And then actually this mould turned out really well, we'd, we'd spend a lot of time on the tool on this this mould so there's not an awful lot of defects with this and um, we've got a bit of a rough corner here so we need to sand that and we need to get the plaster seen off uh, here uh, we've just got a little nib here but overall this is pretty good so we'll get to work on this now and get this ready for ready for molding Okay, so edges trimmed. So trimmed all the way down here and trimmed the end uh, across here and on the end here as well. So that's all trimmed now. Uh, Rich has been along and removed all of the plasticine. So that's given us these nice radius uh, on these corners here. So next we'll hit, hit this with some 180 grit and get rid of some of these. So we've got some you can see it in the light here, but we've just got some high spots here. Let's see if we can focus the camera. So we've got some high spots here, so they'll knock off with 180. And then we'll come in with some 320, 600, uh, 800, 1000. And then we should be able to hit it with the rotary polisher. Okay, so we've finished flatting off. We've got this now to a really nice finish. That's what turned out really nice. Uh, went through the grades as before, 180, 320, uh, 600, 800, 1000, 1500 and 2000 was what we finished off with, uh, wet sanding. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is hit it with the Ferrecla profile 
as before so that should hopefully get rid of any scratches and then we'll follow up with the nanotech speed cut which should hopefully give us a nice high glossy finish <laughs> Okay, so it's next morning guys and we finished off polishing yesterday so this has come out really nice same as the last one so really happy with this so all we need to do now is Richard has just uh, fitted the flange here on the end so again just bolted through just here um, and then this just gives us a flange at this bottom piece here that we can join um, to the other half um, of the bed molding so that's all sorted and we just need to create a flange here uh, which gives us the return lip on the back here and that'll allow us to sit that onto the front molding and then we've also just got to extend this a little bit here as well because we we had to cut this and uh, to actually get this mold off the tool we really struggled with this one um, so we just got to extend this up a little bit so it'll actually meet the hole so this radius just needs to be extended up a little bit a couple of inches probably um, and then that'll allow us to join this part to the stringer on the on the hole so we'll just get um these flanges fitted now and get um that bit cut and then um, and then we should be good to go
So, managed to fit all of the flanges. So, just show you what we've done. So, we've extended this piece up here with this and we've just used some uh, hot glue just to hold that in place and some adhesive as well. So you can see the hot glue in here and then we just applied adhesive as well. Um, obviously mounted these as before and then also we put these extra lips on here. So that'll just give us, that's just extending the mold down a little bit. We'd actually cut this short on this particular mold. So we've just extended that up. We'll put some plasticine in that gap there um, and then that'll be a lot, lot better. Uh, obviously flange on the end here. So we're just gonna leave that, to, we put some adhesive on the back. So we're just gonna leave that overnight uh, and then we should be able to take that to be molded. So that's gonna be the wrap for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.